Um, I think you know what day it is. Yes, it's Sunday. So it's time to send it. As I said last week, this episode is all going to be about the coaching clinic. Me and Mr. Whippy Dixon have just done here in Cape Town. Uh, Ten senders going for it all week. Uh, let's check out the highlights. And there is a lot of highlights. Uh, nine guys, one girl going for it. Absolutely going for it. We're going to kick off with Ornella, as we nicknamed her on the first day, Nutella, because Whippy just can't pronounce names. He's even worse than me. <laughs> um, and we've got to point out this one. This, for me, was the save of the week. Uh, we've had a lot of different conditions here in Cape Town. This was up in Paternoster, riding the wave, looking for the aerial. There's only one problem. Marcus is coming out. He's in the way. <laughs> she has to take oh, <laughs> avoiding action. Check the replay. She just airs out. The back carries on like nothing's gone wrong. Marcus absolutely <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> absolutely destroyed. Check it. <laughs> and she's just sailing off on the back. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. She didn't start off the week well. Uh, broken mast. Ended on the rocks. Uh, it wasn't a great start to the week. That was a northwest day down in Whitstands. But she definitely came good after that. Been working on a wave riding. Even tried this. Yes, the aerial willy skipper. It's a new move. It's a new move. The Estonians, uh, they're just trying them out. Airs off the back and willy skippers. Even went for a forward. Got it? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it was a four. I claim it, Nutella. You better claim that. You better claim that. Uh, I mean, she had to go proper this week because she's here with her fella, uh, obviously also from Estonia, uh, Martin, and he has been sending it proper as well. Um, started off a bit tame on the turns. But we've got him doing some good turns towards the end of the week. Uh, I think one of the better turns was right on the last day as that sun was setting. But like I said, getting some nice turns using the rail more. Like to see that, Mark. Uh, and he was also, well, he didn't know if he wanted to go for push loops or back loops. I said, go out there, give me a try, and I'll tell you what you should go for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Push loops, exactly. I said, okay, we're going to go for the push loops. The more spinny, take the back hand off. It's a bit safer. He just went for it. Full chat. Bang, 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 bang. Wait. Yes, 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 yes. You could have made it. Push loop. Go, 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 go. Okay. Yeah, big. Because then it's less technique. Yeah. The only thing you had to look out for when Mark was out there um, was, well, just get out the way. Get out the way. <laughs> One of the other guys on the clip, the Italian, Maro, nearly found out to his cost. Check this. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh shit. Yeah, I mean, not so close in the end, but enough to put you off a little bit higher. That might have been in Mario's face. Uh, but yeah, going for it. Also, uh, this freestyler had to do a little bit of a check. <laughs> that could have been close as well. That could have been close as well. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, Martin, absolute sender. He did, I mean, we, we talk about when we're coaching this week, uh, decision making. I said, look, a lot of wave signs about decision making. You know, do this, do that, the consequences of that. Um, he found out that on the first day, uh, we were at Plat Boom with the, with the starboard tack wind. Um, he's getting out. He goes down, obviously, gets over one wave. I think gets over two waves and then makes the decision that the next wave is looking good enough. He's going to turn around and ride it. That was a bad decision. Um, uh, and I don't think he'll do that again. Check this. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> On the head. On the head. But like I said, this coaching clicks all about learning. All about learning. We did get some big takedowns this week. Um, oh, yeah, you've got to mention Matt. Matt was another guy on the clinic, uh, also known as 
Yes, John Travolta. You might remember him from last year. You might remember him from last year. He'd been working on a few turns and going a bit later. He definitely went a bit later. <laughs> I got chills, you're supplying. And I'm now swimming for my gear. You better shape up, up, up. Was a late one just a bit too sideways but uh like i said we started to get him moving we got him doing a few dance moves i mean johnny travolta of course he's got some dance moves um but loosening him his hips up getting him moving and there was a, a bit of moving there getting those hands moving just a little bit it started getting it um and even went for a few forwards i say went he didn't quite commit fully but check the position i'm loving the position he just needed to in that head I was like just 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 press the body you can do it mate you can do it uh, but he did provide the biggest splash of the week Stop it. Oh. Oh. yeah there was people down in Big Bay soaked absolutely soaked that's got to be the biggest uh, splash of the week um, Sharing, we got we got so many people. There's ten, like I say, ten people. Uh, we had um, the Swedish master, which uh, he's not a morning person. This bloke, this is Jochen. Um, but when he went out there, when he when he got to the water in the afternoon, <laughs> he was going for it. He was proper sending it, and he must have got the death cartwheel of the week <laughs> for sure. Check this thing. Oh shit! <laughs> this, this, this could have been super nasty. That's like around the clock. Look at the angle. Oh, that is just beautiful perfection. <laughs> oh, mate. Um, he walked straight away from that. I mean, obviously, he just caught the nose on the way up. I was trying to get him to you know, give himself a bit of room. He sheets in a bit too quick on the forwards. Um, we get there. He's got a bit of work to do after this clinic, but that guy can definitely change those forwards for the better. But he was sending them. Had some nice ones, really. Look at the height on them. Um, definitely going for it. And it's going to be interesting to see him on the next clinic because we can change those forwards until they are going to be uh, absolutely perfect. So good to see that. He was sharing uh, the van with Nick. Nick, yes, the sender. He's more a starboard tack jumper, uh, first time port tack. He's in at the deep end here, in at the deep end, but had a go at a couple of pushies. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So I had a go at a couple of pushies. And also, we got him on the beach doing the forwards. And this is the technique about it's not about pulling in the backhand in the hips, in the sail forward. He was good at that. He went out, nailed his first forward. Yes. Uh, this is the footage, Colin Whippy Dixon. Oh. <laughs> well, we think it's the footage. We can't actually tell. We think that might be the forward. Apologies, Nick. It's probably perfect. We'll just claim that as a perfect forward, shall we? Easy. Easy. Um, who else have we got? We've got the Finnish um, a champ. We're going to call him the champ. Uh, this is Samuel. Um, and he is a ripper. He is a ripper. Um, some nice forwards. Look at this technique on the takeoff. Sheet it out, twist the body. Just needs to get the rig forward, but still, he is getting there, and they were going really nice. I think a few more days, it had been absolutely pinging them out, uh, which was really good to see. Um, wave rides started off a little bit stiff, a little bit stiff. We had to loosen him up a bit. I said, Samuel, we got to loosen you up, baby. Um, he goes, I know what I can do. Uh, I'm doing a bit of yoga. The missus has been teaching me a bit of yoga. I'm going to go in the dunes, loosen up. I was like, all right, mate. Yeah, whatever floats your boat. Um, he went out for the dunes. He thought he was hiding from the camera. Unfortunately, Mr. Prophet has an eagle eye, and I spotted him. Um, just check out the routine. It's unorthodox. Um, if you're under 18 years old, maybe just uh, look away now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is porno stuff right here. But we don't care here on Windsurfing TV and uh, Windsurfing Coaching. 
we don't care as long as we get results. And results, yes, we got results. Check out the wave riding, bending in the knees, yeah. And some nice turns, yes, we like that, Samuel. So uh, definite improvement there, mate. Um, so everyone out there, bit of yoga. Bit of sexy time, maybe. <laughs> um, he was sharing the van with Julian. Yes, Julian was on the clinic last year. He's come back for more. Now, Julian, what can we say? He sometimes lacks a bit of aggression. Arr. We want him to get the Hulk. We want him to go green. That's what we need from Julian. We couldn't quite get there. Then we had an idea. A couple of quid to a local kite surfer. Got him to drop the kite on his head. <laughs> Yes, we did. Did it work? <laughs> you bet it worked. He was out there smashing lips, smashing white water. He was full time sending it. Back loops, back, what back loops, push loops. Look at the push loops. This one almost tweaked. If he'd have just get over the rig, we could get him to do a tweak push loop. And then full commitment on the normal push loop, literally landing on the sail. Um, so we love that. Uh, the forwards also got better. A bit of aggression, getting that rig further forward. Uh, and he was sailing away from a few on his bad tack. Um, so yeah, we like that a lot. We like that a lot. And look at the smile on this fella's face. I think he likes it too. I think he likes it too. And that's rash vest. I mean, look at the state of these things. Pink. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Living the dream. Living the dream. Um, we got to talk about Marcus. Marcus is the Pozo sender. It's where he sails. That's where he does all his sailing. He came to Cape Town. He's on a 5.0. He's on a 4.7. He's like, what are these massive sails that I'm on? Uh, but that didn't stop him sending it. He for sure got the push loop bail of the week. Check this thing. <laughs> Yes, the momentum on that body. It's actually the perfect push loop technique. It just needed to hold on. Uh, <laughs> but actually, look at that thing. That is a thing of beauty. That's probably one of my favorite clips of the whole week. A um, couple of back loops attempts. It got the forwards down. They were just a little bit cheesy. We didn't have time to correct this because the jumping days actually after we started uh, seeing them on the water. Um, were kind of few and far between, but uh, we had to work on the wave rides and he started getting a much better turn towards the end. Um, and he has got a lot to work on now. I think his brain's full of everything going back to Pozo. Uh, and he's kind of excited to try out some different conditions. And last but not least, we have our two Italianos, yes, Ciao Bella, Quattro Formaggi, uh, Tagatelli, um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I've got. The other ones are swear words, and I won't mention them on here. But uh, I've got to say, these two, they, well, they excelled. They excelled this week. Uh, firstly, I'm going to talk about Vincenzo. Yes, the doctor from Italy. And this bloke, he was epic this week, I've got to say. He went out the first day, did a few forwards. He was pulling in a bit too early. When you pull in too early, you're not landing properly. You're going to switch the rotation. We got him to move around a bit. By the end of the week, he pulled off this thing. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Yes, absolutely perfect. His back loops, taking off two downwind. We got him to take off into the wind, you know, kill that forward speed. That's what the back loop's about when you learn them. Can't have any forward speed. The results. Yes, go on. Two. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. They were close. They were close, not quite landing it yet. We need to work on that top bit. Again, a week's a very short time when you're learning moves like this, but you can see just by that takeoff, things got uh, groovy. Wave riding, <laughs> poly cow, mate, poly cow. And close to a couple of airs, started to get the pop towards the end, um, but wave riding also turns just really nice off the top. So uh, 
Vincenzo, uh, absolutely perfect, mate. Uh, top marks for that forward, uh, top of the class. Um, and last, but by no means least, we have Maro. Yes, this guy for me was the sender of the week. I don't think we've got enough time to put all the clips in. Um, he was sending the forwards. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh! <laughs> Faster. Whoa! <laughs> really good. Oh, yes! It was all wrong at first. He was taking off backwards, taking off forwards, taking off, but he was just taking off all the time. Uh, got pretty close towards the end after we tweaked it a bit. Um, but back loops. I have to talk about back loops. That's all. Yeah. Maro, you're, you're this close. He's got to believe. This fella's got to believe in the back loop. Look at this. Taking off more upwind in these ones now. And how close are these? Oh, man. I think I could probably edit one of these and we can claim it. Yeah, well, I'm not a liar, but it, it, really close, man. Really close. He even invented a new move. Yes. <laughs> what, what is this? This was one of the first forward attempts. We come a long way, I did tell you. But check this thing. Is th this is just epic. Could Can someone pull this off? Um, it's impressive, man. It's impressive. And almost a little air as well up in Paternoster. Yeah, yeah, I told you, I told you. He was absolutely sending it this week. Oh, Mario, what a bomb. Why is he going to go up to it? Whoa! Oh. 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 Save, 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 oh. uh, So super good to see. Um, so... I think that wraps it up for Send It Sunday this week. We've got another coaching clinic um, starting tomorrow. So it is all go here at Windsurfing TV Towers and Windsurf Coaching. Um, we're going to be bringing you all that action next Sunday, maybe. Or maybe it's going to be too close. We might bring you a normal Send It Sunday next month. Again, thanks to everyone who's sending the clips in. We are doing Cape Town specials and coaching specials at the moment. Um, but after we've finished here in Cape Town, we'll be going back to normal. Um, don't forget, wherever you are in the world, don't forget to. Sandy! Cannonball! <laughs> <laughs>to everyone for tuning in uh always a pleasure doing these uh send it sundays although maybe a little bit rushed sometimes i think i need a pa um uh, you can apply below uh don't forget if you missed last week's send it sunday you can click over here uh the week before you can click over here subscribe to the channel because 2019 i have a few sneaky plans um, and it's going to be good. And uh, give us a thumbs up, like if you liked it.